Ooh, gotta get out the rain, get to class, out the rain, through the puddles. That's what we did. Yes, on the way to some communication education. <laughs> now listen, this class, a little less education and a lot more practice. You see, I have to prepare my students to be able to present five to eight minute speeches at the end of the semester. One persuasive speech and one informative speech. That doesn't work well for a class who does not like to speak. Most people don't. In fact, public speaking ranks as one of the highest fears most people have. And so I go through a process throughout the semester of desensitizing them. It started from day one with a one minute speech and today a two to three minute speech. I'll get them up to that five to eight minute by the end of the semester, I promise. In the meantime, I might have to buy them a lot of chai too because it, it makes everything better. <laughs> Heading to my next class, I made them present as well. Two to three minutes about a topic that was personable to them, something they could talk about very freely. And that's one less layer of anxiety that you have when you're talking about something that you know, something that you would talk about anyway, because you're passionate about it. It's a hobby. It's something you like. You don't have that layer of concern. Well, am I going to forget what I was going to say? Am I going to forget everything about this thing? Because you know it. Like it's a part of you. It's something you're interested in and something that's important to you. That's like one key tip to make you successful when it comes to presenting. Make sure you're talking about something that you're passionate about, not just something that you were assigned or something that you felt like you had to speak on. Become as familiar with it as possible. And that's one less layer of anxiety that goes on top of that public speaking phobia. That and slowly increasing the length of time that you speak. I'm telling you, it's definitely a way to do it. You've got to desensitize yourself so that you can be as successful as possible. You know, preparation breeds success. And when you realize you're already an expert, a subject content expert about the thing that you love the most, then you really are already prepared. Mm -hmm. Now, before all of that, you really have to make sure you manage your self-talk. You have to remind yourself that you're capable, that you're competent. And for our learners today, it was definitely about progress and not perfection. Are we better in this two to three minute speech than we were in the one minute one that we did at the beginning of the semester? And I can tell you all of them were so much better than me running out here in this rain, falling all on my face. It's all good. It was a beautiful day.